Okay, I wanted to show you guys what I have done here. Um, this started out life as a little uh, LED uh, work light flashlight combination. Um, they are available for about $4 at Harbor Freight. Um, or I believe, uh, as a friend had pointed out, that you can get these free with a purchase. Uh, I believe the batteries in this one are almost dead. Um, but there's the uh, work light side and the flashlight side of it. Uh, they're really handy. They've got a magnetic back as well as a hook so that you can hook them uh, onto uh, whatever it might be that you're working on. Uh, the problem that I ran into the other day is that I wanted to use one of these at my desk, but I didn't want to have to constantly replace the three AAA batteries that these run off of. Um, the three AAA battery should be a 4.5 volt battery or combination um, and so what I ended up deciding to do was to make it USB powered. Uh, USB typically runs on a 5 volt um, DC uh, power and so I assumed that the uh, resistors inside of the light would be okay to take care of uh, the voltage difference between the 3 AAA and the, um, and the USB power. Uh, I decided that I wanted to go ahead and remain or keep this uh, particular light um, able to be powered off of the three AAA batteries. So the way I ended up wiring this up was that I drilled uh, a hole into the end of it so that I could run my cable through. And that cable then comes up here. It routes around the battery uh, holder and then is soldered directly to the power, uh, positive and negative power uh, connectors on the circuit board. Uh, the circuit board it appears to have two resistors here. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what the uh, ratings are on those resistors. Um, but yeah, so uh, in the end when this is plugged in, plugged in either through a wall charger or directly to the computer, uh, what you'll see is I've got the uh, flashlight up and running if you press again it brings up the LED display now the problem that I'm running into is after having used this for a couple of days um, without blinding the camera what you'll notice is that some of my LEDs appear to be uh, either burned out and others are flickering as if they're maybe um, not doing so hot so my assumption is that I must be overloading uh, those LEDs, but I'm not 100% sure why, uh, nor do I fully understand all the, the circuitry that was involved uh, in the operation of the LED. So, I thought I would post this and see uh, what kind of feedback I could get uh, regarding why I'm starting to lose LED lights off of, um, off of this, this lamp. Thanks.